Guess who's back? Guess who's back? And I'm back with another wine. It's your Wisconsin wine guy. I do wine reviews for you. These are wines you can find in every day, liquor store, grocery store, and maybe even some wine shop shelves. You know, and if you can't find the wine that I'm reviewing, look for the grape. I mean, you'd be surprised. What I enjoy about this and drinking wine is just so many different things, so many different variables, you know, different grapes, different styles, different colors, you know, just fantastic. So there's always something for everyone. That's why your palate is your guide. So let's get to why we're here. I review the wines that you can find on your different stores. Simple system. Thumbs up. Highly recommend. Three quarters. You know what? Well, right here. Three quarters. You know what? I would drink this wine, and if it's good enough, I would even keep a, bottle, a couple of bottles on hand, let it age, see what happens. Halfway, not so much for me, but you know what? It may be for someone. Give it a try. Let us all know what you think of it. Thumbs down. That's always an easy one. Get that wine out of here, right? So, this is why we're here. Let's get to it. On today's show... We're going to go organic. I think I did on another wine review, I did uh, organic wine, and I believe it's from Spain. Today we're going organic and we're going to Germany. Better yet, we're going to Germany with a red wine. The Great Peter is called Dornfelder, made for organic grapes by Schlinkhaus. Most of us, in all of our stores, we have the Schlinkhaus brand, you know, in Riesling, you know, sitting on a shelf, a leaf from milk, we have the Schlinkhaus brand sitting on our shelves. But how many of you have found a red wine, Dornfelder? Now, Dornfelder can come in sweet, can come in dry, can come in bold. I mean, there's all sorts. I mean, in Germany, they make red wines from Pinot Noir, which they call Spat Burgunder. They also make wines, red wines from Blau Frankisch. These are all red wine grapes. So again, explore, explore, explore. But today is all about Dornfelder from Schlenkau. This is a 2017 Qualistatswein from the Rheinhessen. Okay? Rheinhessen is a region in Germany. Now, screw cap. I like talking about closures. Screw pack, cap for me, I don't mind screw cap, cork, synthetic, or real. What matters to me is what's in the bottle. If the bottle, if the juice in the bottle is not good, but if it's a screw cap, that means it went in that way, right? Okay. So now, so the Dornfelder, wow, I'm looking so looking forward to this. I haven't had a Dornfelder in many, many years. So I'm so looking forward to trying this, and I'm so looking forward to introducing you to something new. Get a look at that color. Deep, deep purple. Now, I'm not going to make fun of it, but it's deep colored purple. You ever like, you know, got yourself some fresh Concord grapes and you crush them to, to see the juice come out? Deep, deep purple, just like the Concord grape juice, you know? I mean, I, I, I love that color. Now for the nose. Berries Jubilee. <laughs> really, Berries Jubilee. It's like a it's like a bunch of berries, you know, in a bowl. You just you just, you just slightly crush. So we got blackberries, blueberries, brambleberries. I mean, the, the nose is just it's just a a fun. Oh wait wait, wait. there's like a cherry pie smell, All right? It's like it's like way way in the background. So this is the first thing you notice, but way in the background. Like a, a fresh cherry pie. Wow. But take away the cinnamon. Just the fruit itself. So let's give it a rinse. So there's my rinse. Soft on acidity. Okay. There's not a lot of acidity here. It's there, but not, not a lot of acidity there. I will tell you this, though. This is... So we got organic, you know, being good stewards of the land, organic grapes. It is Dornfelder red wine from Germany, Rheinhessen. It is semi-dry. So it's not going to be sweet, not going to be dry. It's going to be semi-dry, okay? Now here's a wine that you can, or, or semi-sweet, depending on what you want to call it. Here's a wine you can have, you know, really cool to room temperature or makes a great sangria. Or you can have a chill. Now for my taste. So there's those floral notes. Now, I've had lots of dorm fillers in my time. 
and they run the gamut, you know, on style and on quality. This one has at a cooler temperature, or I had it at a cooler temperature, tastes completely different than at a cool temperature. Okay, more of the, the floral qualities come out at a cool temperature or room temperature. So in this case, drinking right now, the Wisconsin wine guy is going to give this one because I enjoy it. I'm going to give it a, I wish there was a, a line in between three quarters and halfway. Okay. I don't want to say halfway that I, it's not for me, but I want to say three quarters that I'll keep on hand. So somewhere in between there. Okay. But I recommend you give it a try. You know, the Dornfeld the Great, you know, uh, I would drink this. I, again, I would drink this on its own. I would mix it. I would enjoy it. So I'm not going to say halfway. And I'm not going to say three quarters. I'm going to go right in the middle of those two, and I'm going to ask you to explore. So this is 2017 Dornfelder's The Grape by Schlink House, made from organic grapes. So it's your Wisconsin wine guy, saying as always, let your palate be the guide. we are selecting your next wine, and let's drink some wine. It's 2020. I'll see you next time. Bye.